What's happening everybody? Welcome back to the R44 channel. Today is Wednesday, it is uh, about 10 p.m. It's my first beer, the day's finished, everybody's just left. And now I want to kind of intro our video and what we're doing. So firstly, quick sip. So what we are doing um, tomorrow morning, uh, 11.50, I believe our flight is, we're flying to Orlando uh, for Beamer Invasion, a, an event that we attended myself and Dylan behind the camera last year. Um, and we see it as like a bit of a season opener for the industry and for the car scene in the US. Um, we're crazy excited, actually, tell a lie. We've got some cool things. We've got, we actually won Best Wagon. So we'll actually show you the wagon. It's over there in the workshop. So we went to Beamer Invasion, um, California with the M3 touring um, and things like that. But anyways, and then M Pact as well. So we're cool things from the US show scene. But more importantly, um, bit, but I want to just tell you about why we go to these things, what we're going to do, what we're, our goals as a business are. Um, and yeah, just we're crazy excited to see everybody. But obviously, yeah, season opener. We're going to head over there. One, to catch up with, you know, brands that we work with, customers, see what everybody's been up to over this winter season, um, catch up, make some plans. So last year we talked about the touring, so we got to talk to people in person about the project and then we went on to do them. So the touring project was a really cool thing. Uh, it was a big marketing stunt from ourselves. It's behind you. I um, don't know if you sweep behind. Well, you can see, yeah, that's the entry touring at SEMA. Um, and you can see here we've got a big mix of brands. So what we end up doing, big brands, such as you know Golden Wrench, Remus Exhaust, Acra, things like that. We work with the brand, we figure out one, how can we market it to our customers to showcase you guys kind of the pros and the cons of the product. Kind of highlighting one, is it good to fit? The quality, is it up to our standard? And what you will find is majority of everything, or well, everything on our portfolio of products are really high quality, really good quality, really good value. Um, all started from you know, starting from one product, let's say some con rods from Tom, to some pure turbos, to some JQ paddles, to everything. They are brands that have been started by, you know, individuals, team of people that want to achieve something great. And, they, you know, they're starting small and they're going to go as big as they can. Um, and they're, yeah, they're going to try and achieve as much as they can. So, yeah, let's run through. We've got a bit of a thing. So we've obviously gone to Beamer Invasion. Um, it's kind of on our cards, like why are we going to this event? And we normally go there with a bit of an objective, kind of highlight some new products, launch something new, work with some customers. And funny enough, a uh, brand contacted me about three, four months ago, said that we're about to drop a new grill in 2024. Uh, we'd like to kind of work with you guys. What can we do? And then, you know, me and myself, Dylan, uh, pondered on it, come up with a couple ideas. Um, and we thought, look, what, you know, what best way to do this is we get some of the grills, um, the GAE M3 and M4 front grills and GAE1 uh, touring. Let's install it here at our place uh, on a car and then let's fly to Orlando and let's fit on two customer cars um, and then showcase it to the world. So what we're gonna do is walk you through uh, from our showroom space here, show you to the car that we installed it on, uh, to get a couple of photos here in London, get familiarized with the install, and then I'll show you um, well, we'll then fly over to uh, America. We'll then um, meet some customers Friday morning. We'll go to PSI, um, which is a performance shop that helped us with the M3 touring. We'll install some front grills. We'll enjoy the event, and uh, yeah, we'll find it here. But let's uh, let's go. Actually, let me tell you a little backstory. I'm almost done with me talking, but a little backstory. A company's called Soku. Uh, they are a carbon fiber manufacturer, so they design and manufacture carbon fiber, um, something that I've got obviously a lot of history in. We push one big brand called MHC. We've been pushing them for years since the start. Um, and we even have like a display section over there for them. So it shows you from 3D CAD models all the way to, you know, 3D printing, raw products, clear coating, pattern design, mold making, everything's there. So I understand the manufacturing side of carbon quite a lot. So when Soku contacted me, you know, I got their product, did a lot of tests, we left it out. You know, weather conditions, we did some scratch testing as well, uh, which then didn't might highlight what that means. Um, so we've reviewed the product. It's up to our standard. It's really good visually appealing carbon as well. It is really good visually appealing carbon. Uh, nice and deep, matches the OEM carbon quite well. Um, and the fit is really good and we'll showcase that. I've obviously just installed that one to the car. We've also got the two to install and I'll showcase when I install them, how quick we can remove a bumper, install the new grills, fit them back together and then showcase it to the customer. 
but yeah, let's go have a look. It, you know, we are going to work with Soku. Brands contact us quite a lot just to collaborate and, you know, they might give us the parts at a discounted rate if we can find the customer and help them uh, market it. So we were thankful to get these at a bit of a discount rate. We pass that on to the customer and we'll do it. So if you want these uh, products, of course, the link will be in our description. We've also got some rights to be the first to retail them for two weeks and then they're opened up to the market. So for customers that already buy Soku products, there's thousands across the world that actually buy them already. You might have seen, you know, they actually have designed and manufactured quite a cool M2 kit. They do uh, M2 front grill for the G87 that's kind of popping off. A lot of companies rebrand their products. Um, but yeah, there's some products that maybe, I mean, some cars you might have seen already, but let's uh, let's go show you this. Less talking, I'm gonna grab my beer. We'll show you around the workshop um, and the showroom before we leave and the guys here at R44 take on. But as you can see, yeah, bit of showroom space. Quick one, shout out, if you do have a sticker for our roof, this is my old M3 roof. If you have a sticker, send it, go to our store. Uh, we'll put the store address down below. Send us a sticker, just like some of these customers, um, to this Titan Motorsports, we'll be adding that on very soon. So send them over, put your Instagram handle inside the package, we'll then DM you and we'll put it on our wall, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, oh. But yeah, we've got that, we've got some cool bits, all our pass cars, our M240, our Supra, our M3. That's the roof from the M3 when the tree fell on it. Um, yeah, some carbon stuff. So we do have a good history of, you know, all about the cheaper wet laid carbon, all the way up to the backing plies, the visual carbon. So this is actual visual carbon fiber, the exact set, you know, quality of, car well, the exact quality of carbon that's right here on the SP1 from MHC. And this is the strength carbon. So this goes behind. That's raw, that's failed quality control. This is satin finish, lacquer, and this is gloss finish. This is the mold, that's the pattern that makes the mold. And this is the scratch testing. So that's something that we did to our first Soku grill. So they sent us a grill before we even thought about anything. We did a scratch test, and if that comes off, then cheap lacquer. Um, but yeah, really good success. So we come down, we'll see. R44 at SEMA, cool cars are uh, F80 M3. Then, if you can see them, I've got a bit of display. This is cheap, kind of uh, wet laid lacquer. You can see the quality, and this is next to a spoiler. I'm sure you can see the quality difference, but that is pre preg carbon. That's exactly what we use, um, or they use over at that display section over there. Um, but yeah, that's wet laid, cheap carbon. So if you see a splitter for half the price, that's probably what carbon they're using. Um, let's walk through, see, yeah, this is us here at R44, if you've not seen, got the warehouse in over there, we've got a Toyota Supra there, um, then walk along, got my GT3 RS, I've been out hooding that today, um, to get some content, so it's there, ready, the iconic touring, M3 touring up there, under some last minute prep before it gets some uh, PPF and some colour bits done, and then it's heading out, um, ready for the Euro, uh, Euro show season that starts. Wow, the first show's on the 11th of March. Okay, stressful. That's got to get a lot of work done before then. Anyways, 1,000 horsepower in three, and our customers, G82 M4, finishing satin black with the Soku grill. So this is the new grill, so it's pretty cool. Um, it's matched up with the SP1 front splitter from MHC, so it's quite nice. Um, I think this splitter suits this grill quite well because of the, the kind of, details here and here matches up really well but that's the grill uh we've got two of them to go and install over in orlando so yeah less to me that was quite a big big talking point but let's uh yeah let's get wrapped up um i've actually got to install some and it remus exhaust on this before i go because the customer wants it for tomorrow morning so i promised him i'll get the exhaust on it done so i'm going to finish this up dylan's going to head home pack his boxes and his uh, socks and stuff like that and then uh yeah, let's head to the airport. We'll catch you at seven. Hey. Welcome back everyone, we have landed. So we are in the Sunshine State, sun is out. It's probably the only day it's gonna be out from what the weather says, but more importantly, look at our rental. So me and Dylan, of course, upgrade from the Kia Sportage that we were given from 6th 
and we've got a nice X7. Um, it's always our strategy, go for the cheapest SUV. Then when you're there, you kind of have a chat with the guy, get to know him a little bit. Then you're asking him, what can we upgrade to? First of all, he gave us a Mustang. Then he gave us a drop top four series. And then uh, there's an S X7 or a Suburban. I wanted a Suburban, didn't want the X7. We've never had an X7, so here it is. It's uh, finished in gray. It's got the chrome trims. It's quite nice actually, but let's have a little walk around with it, around the car. Yeah, it's pretty comfortable. A couple of scratches. It's got the full insurance, so it doesn't actually matter what we do to the car. Um, interior is nice. You can see it's got the mahogany leather. I mean, mahogany trim on there. Quilted leather. Uh, Red Bulls are flowing. Um, but yeah, it's, to be honest, it's such an ugly car, I think, personally. When you sit in it, this pillar is just in the way of your vision. But we've got to do a couple of things to this car, of course. In fashion, we've got the box. We've done the Walmart shops. We've shared the Walmart. We've got water for the week. And we got our merch pack, let's open it up. We need to get this car out, it smells really bad. Um, so what we got is a couple R44 detailing air fresheners. Um, if they're not on the site, they will be now, um, because I don't know if they are. We've got a couple of normal R44 air fresheners to add into the back seats. Um, get into it, we've got, of course, in memory of the touring from last year, we do always put a touring or a sticker on the back of the car. So we'll put a touring sticker on the car. Two long logos for both side windows. We've got those. So we're going to put two stickers. We've got to brand the car, just like you guys got to brand up your car. And then we've got some R44 detailing drip logos. I quite like these. So I'll show you quickly. So this is the drip logo. And then we obviously do the normal R44 stickers. Fresh packs. So come, that's our normal R44 stickers, R44 drip. Both on the website now. Get your orders in or just place an order we end up giving them for free anyway so you might as well do it so yeah let's get straight on to it let's uh where should we do it i think halfway house <laughs> we're just warming up the surface cleaning up the water spots um fortunately no detailing products are come with 60 rentals nice easy it's not just litter but we're just gonna go with the nice straight edge And then get the money shot and get it open. Whoa. Damn! M badges or R44 badges in this instance. Whoa. To the side of the cup. Whoa. Oh dear. Let's repair that. Lovely. Well, look. Jeez. Drip sticker's actually sick. Ready? What's happening everybody? So we are now here at PSI. So firstly, shout out to PSI. The team here, always so welcoming and just to give us opportunity to work on cars and do this kind of stuff. So shout out to PSI, we love them. Um, and I cannot believe it, my touring was here at once upon a time. But more importantly, we've got a really OG customer, Iron Roll here. His car's back or oh, behind me in twilight purple. It just looks amazing. But you can see the front grills here. It is 1045. Um, we've got this car first, and then we've got Edgar's car in Mexico blue. So it's going to be pretty cool, quite touching to see um, the same color as my car back home. But you can see this car is already fitted out with the SP2. It's now going for uh, the Soku grill which will replace the current grill it's got, and then obviously parts will uh, keep coming for Iron Roll. He keeps, uh, keeps wanting more and more, but let's get straight into it. I just wanna get this car stripped down, get the grill on it, get onto the next car, and then we can really look at things, um, yeah, once we start shooting them, because yeah, we're in Florida, the sun's out, let's make the most out of it. But yeah, let's go, 10.45, I aim to be done with this car in half an hour, just to showcase how easy it is to install this grill. Um, but yeah, let's go and let's have some fun.
round number two, the first one was done. Super quick install. We got off his previous gill, put the new one on, got it all fitted out, it's now outside, and we've got this beautiful Mexico blue, which is, yeah, so good to see it. And this one's hosting an array of parts. It's got Alpha N front bumper, front hood, sorry. It's got Project Gamma front grill, which actually is really clean. First time seeing it in person, carbon ducts, kind of front lip here, some max and side skirts actually, some more carbon side skirts down the side. But more importantly, we are putting the Soku grill on the front, but then pairing it out with the MHC SP2 front lip, just to make it, yeah, tie it all in together. It's pretty self-explanatory. We just gotta get this done, and then all the fun will happen after. So let's get it up in the air, smash it out, Time starting, we've got about 12 o'clock, so let's see what we can try and do. Smash this out, get outside by one o'clock, and uh, take some photos. happening everybody we are now wrapping things up two amazing cars behind me one in the purple one in the blue honestly amazing so firstly shout out to soku they've done a great job with the grill it fits amazing it was a super quick install we also fitted the mhc front lip onto the mexico blue car matching up nicely so we've got an sp2 on both cars we've got a soku front grill on both as well so we're just wrapping things up doing what we do best taking some photos get the marketing done we've run through the install it was simple so now we've installed three grills 10 out of 10 on each piece but yeah I'm right, just taking them in, these cars are special. So obviously now we are gonna leave these guys, well, you'll see some B-roll, see what the car looks like. If you need any more photos, hit up the product listings. They'll be full of the fitted photos from these cars, the black car. Um, and then now we're gonna wrap things up, head out for some dinner, head out to some car meet. So you might see some cool bits like that from what we see across the way in Orlando over the next couple hours. And then we are at Beamer Invasion and yeah, hopefully it doesn't rain. So yeah, enjoy it. Look at these cars, they're fucking amazing. So, obviously, quick spot, R34, MHC, G80, M3. Our customer is kind of in currently in Longhorn Steakhouse. But he shouted at me uh, yesterday or last night, he said, Reese, I need something for the rear of his car. As you can see, he's running the SB1, the SK1, and he really needs uh, the SS1. So let's have a little look what's inside the back of this car. Let's unwrap them, mate. This car is super clean. Really good customer of ours. One of the first to ever have the SP1. He's currently running the DF1 from MHC, so bought a lot from us. Um, so obviously his SS1s, so thank you. Every SS1's come with some 3M, or 3M wipes, you can wipe the bottom. But let's uh, quickly install these. So I forgot a trim tool, but if you want one of these, drop us a DM, we'll sort you out. It's an R44 bottle opener, but we're gonna use it as a trim, trim removal tool. And um, we're just gonna remove the little push fixings on the bottom here. Um, Hopefully it will work because oh, I didn't look at your shoes. You've got like little pricks. <laughs> wow. Look at that. the vlog <laughs> 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 Leaving SEMA, but we're uh, we're in Orlando. We've got some AC stances. What's up? And... Yay! So we 
arrived about five hours late. Um, cars and poppy. We all like to snooze. Um, pastry is really weird. Pastry, cream cheese, and some fruit. But more importantly, we're at uh, PSI's new but old gig. So this is our old workshop that Sean from PSI originally started at, I believe. It's actually perfect. If there was something like this in London, I'd be all over it. Have a look around. So we've got three rounds over there, a dino. Then we've got some other pastry. Probably got like cream cheese in there as well. But, um, Three rounds, a dino, a showroom space, and then a courtyard. That's perfect. Yeah. If mean, anybody knows about this kind of stuff in London, that'd be wicked. Perfect. For us, that we, we live, when we move our warehouse, and this is what we're after. Somewhere with a couple of garages. Oh, look, some MHC products being fixed. Ta -da! So, this is a VIP walk round of the new horse dino G87M2. First of all, the new wheels, I absolutely love them. Very similar to Dylan's where they've got like things around the outside, but they're more of a built up fit here. Of course, that was the Pup 2. The kit involves a front splitter, front hood, fenders. You need the side skirt for the fender to make it all work. I think it has a new front and a new diffuser. I think it's absolutely crazy. So, really cool. I first saw this three days ago at PSI's uh, other workshop, and then it was at Beamer Invasion and Unveiled. But yeah, really cool. We obviously got the um, pit and paddock. E91. This thing, we're going to be seeing a little bit more of it in the next couple of months, so that's going to be really cool. Um, ah, it's got a new splitter, right? Is that what you mentioned? It's got a little mm -hmm. splitter now, but yeah, beautiful colour. Fire orange, giving me a throwback to the G87, but man, these wheels. You like in the Yeah, we are in the What's happened here? We now have a truck M4, pretty much. Pick up M4. Pretty crazy. Yeah, that's it. Um, I saw this car, I thought it was built for uh, SEMA two years ago, and then it's just been evolving ever since. Every time we see it, it's better and better. So it's pretty cool, it's got roof pops on it, carbon. Um, yeah, absolutely root. Stunning, really. Some, really. some new side skirts, some fenders there. So, cool looking car. Um, yeah, we're wrapping things up. It's raining, we're in Florida, it's a real shame. Uh, but now we're gonna head off, uh, head to the airport. Say goodbye to the X7 and uh, yeah, get back. We fly in 10 a.m. London time, go straight to your office. We get cracking, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sign out here. I think I hope everybody's enjoyed. Uh, it's been quite cool releasing a new product for a new brand. Um, yeah, hopefully we can get some more products from them in the coming weeks and months. Um, keep releasing stuff across all the BMW platforms and some other cars and stuff. But yeah, really enjoy some pastries. I've destroyed mine a bit, but yeah. Anyways, love for you guys and see you soon.